Welcome back, Linux enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the latest and greatest from the Fedora project, Fedora Linux 40. Unlike other distros, the installer is a little boring to watch. No annoying ads popping up or features to talk about. It's just a plain screen. So maybe while it's installing, pick up your favorite book and catch up on some reading. But don't get caught up in it. The installer is pretty darn fast. What got me the first time I installed Fedora was it never asked me for initial account information or even to set a root password, which kind of confused me because most systems do. Don't worry, this is normal when using Anaconda installers. It will finish up the setup and account creation after the first reboot. During this final setup, I was excited to see that you now have an option to log into enterprise servers. This means that you can connect to your works AD server and log into the domain really easy. This used to be a very difficult cast in Linux distributions, but over the years, it seems more and more starting to support AD. And in case you're wondering, AD is Active Directory, which is the common authentication method on most corporate networks, at least in my experience. I do not have an AD server in my home lab, so I'm not going to be using that option today. But I do want to test it out someday, so I might try this again after spinning up an AD server. Be aware, if you're installing fresh, then prepare to do a big update. Unlike our systems and even some other Ubuntu-based systems, it does not appear to grab the latest updates during install. This would be a nice feature, but not 100% necessary and would just slow down the install. The default install comes with GNOME 46 as the desktop and running Wayland as the compositor. If for some reason you don't want to run Wayland, you can select GNOME on Xorg from the gear icon on the login screen. On my daily driver, I had to do this since I'm running NVIDIA GPU. Wayland at the time of release and at the time of making this video is just not very good for NVIDIA. There are promises that this will no longer be an issue once NVIDIA releases the 560.x release of the drivers. I am waiting for that because the little bit of Wayland that I have used runs amazing, but the issues that I've run into are game breaking. Package management on Fedora can't get any simpler. You can either install packages using the Red Hat package management DNF from the command line, which is my preferred way. This is the old school way and most people will probably choose the newer GUI method of software installation. The software manager is simply just called software. From the software app, you can install updates or add and remove new applications. If there is a software package you wish to install, you can click the looking glass icon and then type the name of the software you are looking for. Once you find the application you want to install, you can simply click the install button. One super nice feature is that you can choose to install binaries or a flat pack. In some cases, a flat pack may be a better option. It is nice to have the choice right from the package manager. So far, gaming has been flawless. I only play a few different games when I have downtime and everything I've thrown at it has had no issues whatsoever, with the exception of Minecraft on Wayland. It was a dumpster fire. As you can see from the clip captured with my phone, Minecraft was unplayable and I actually ran into this randomly in other games, which was weird because it was totally random. Sometimes it would just work and other times I would have the same effect. Never could figure out what was the key factor, except when I switched back to X11, everything was smooth as butter. No flickers and high frame rates. The Wayland issue with Minecraft could be an Nvidia issue. I'll be testing it all again once the new drivers drop. A lot hinges on how well the new drivers work before I decide to switch to Wayland. But for now, I'm just gonna stay with X11. There are rumors that Fedora 41 may force Wayland, but I think that would be a dumb move on their part. Time will tell. My final thoughts on Fedora 40 is that it's a good, stable, cutting edge distro and totally worth trying out if you're wanting to try something different from your typical Bunto distro, or even if you just want to move away from your current distro to try something new. Fedora 40 is definitely a good cutting edge distro. Maybe not as cutting edge as something like Arch, but it's up there. Here are my pros and cons of switching to Fedora 40. Let's start with the pros. It's a fast, stable system that comes with everything you need right out of the box. Easy software installation through their software application. Latest GNOME desktop right out of the box. Lots of support. The Reddit community is top notch. Great gaming platform. Real easy to switch to X11 if you need to. Fast update cycle. Keeps it feeling cutting edge. Here are my cons. Whalen is the fault. I don't think we're ready for that yet. At least not till there's better support for NVIDIA out there. Non-free codec support is not supported in the default repositories. There's an easy fix for it. 
you Google it, you can find how to install a third-party repository that will give you the non-free codexes. They should have waited before forcing Wayland on us. It almost ready, but not quite. Short support life. This can be an issue for some people. Having to upgrade or reinstall every 18 months or so can be a pain in the butt. This isn't a rolling release, even though it gets a lot of updates. You still need to do a complete upgrade or a complete install when the new versions come out. Typically a release is supported for about a year to a year and a half. So it's not too much of an issue. And I've upgraded from Fedora 39 to 40. It's a process, it's all automated and it's not complicated, but it does take time. I think I had about, oh, half an hour to 45 minutes of downtime when I did the upgrade. My final thoughts on Fedora 40 is that it's a good, stable, cutting edge distro and totally worth trying out if you are wanting to try something different from your typical Ubuntu distro or even if you just want to move away from your current distro to try something new. Fedora 40 is definitely a good cutting edge distro. Maybe not as cutting edge as something like Arch, but it's up there. Hey, thanks for joining me with this video and I hope you had a great time watching it. I hope it helped you make the decision whether or not you want to switch to Fedora or not. Have you used Fedora? If so, post your experiences down below. I would love to hear from you. Maybe we can get some discussion going on. Thank you for watching and have a great day.